Palpatine protection. Mm. Hey, 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 real talk people, good evening, you know, it's your girl Vanessa, but you don't see so we in the studio tonight, right? Today we're at UWE to visit one of her callers, Shanae, that nice little baby girl I called in the other day asking assistance with some oxygen for her time because, you know, she's sick, so she's always constantly under oxygen. So she got really bad and she got admitted to the UA hospital on Wednesday. So we came here today to visit, talk with her a little, talk with her mom and all of that. So we're here right now and we're gonna get right into that because they must say we can't really do much on the compound, so we're gonna make it quick and fast. So just stay tuned and we're gonna enjoy the thing. All right, people, you know it's real talk and you know it's your host Vanessa and today we're at Yui Hospital with Miss Nicola Pattison. A few weeks ago, her daughter called her program seeking help for some oxygen because she's constantly on oxygen. So we are not allowed to go inside, but we're going to speak with the mom for a bit and see what's been going on. Hi, Miss Nicola. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you doing today? I'm not too bad. How has it been since morning, you know, traveling here all the way from Manchester to visit Shanae? Well, journey kind of rough, but I'm just taking it one day at a time. So what's, what's going on now? All right, she's on oxygen right now. And the doctor said she developed a sickness, a illness on the lungs because there are some smoke and dust. So it irritates the lungs now, so she has to admit back in the hospital. So what kind of sickness was she diagnosed with at first, and how long has she been diagnosed? She diagnosed it from 2008. It's a lung disease called HTLV-1. HTLV-1? HTLV-1, yes. And that's sickness of the lungs where she has difficulty breathing? Yeah, she have difficulty breathing by herself, so she have to constantly depend on the oxygen for her to breathe. So any other symptoms other than the breathing problem? No, no, she don't have any other illness. So just typically the oxygen to survive each day? Yes, miss. So what, what has that been like for you over the years? Well, it's been rough because I usually work, but now I have to stop work because I've developed a spinal problem with my foot i can hardly walk so i have to depend on life family to help me and it's really rough for me to buy oxygen and stuff like that so how much tank would you say she used per week well for the week i have to fill it two times the big cylinder two times for the week it only lasts for well, two days and she only has those ones or she have the portable ones as well yeah, the portable one, she had the portable, but the portable, like when we're going to clinic and stuff like that, and she's going on the road, I have to use that to bring her on the road. So is there a case, like, a day where she can go, like, the full 24 hour without being on the oxygen, or it's a constant right round the clock? It's a constant thing, but I'm um, like, sometimes we give her a break off it, but like when we give her a break, it's like just a couple of minutes. Like, probably an hour tops, right? Yeah. So within that hour, is she breathing properly, no complications or anything? No, she has short, short breath at times. Like, depends on how she walk. She cannot walk fast. So like from the room to the bathroom, she like have a little short breath and we have to put her back on it. So constant assistant, even going to the bathroom and all of that? Yes. So what has it been like? How's the support from the family and all of that throughout the years? Well, I don't get any help from families, mostly from strangers. I only have an aunt and an uncle that help me most of the time, but most of the help is from strangers. So I see you with the cane, and you say you've been having a spinal problem where it affects your walking. Were you ever involved in an accident or anything? No, i never been involved in an accident, as never, never before. So how long ago did this ailment develop? Two years now, having this problem. And I've been going to a doctor, I come to Dr. T with bone specialist and I've been to Mandible Hospital and a bone clinic also, but no, they're not telling me anything. They only do blood tests and the results come back showing nothing. And I do MRI, four MRI and they come back 
sure nothing is wrong with my foot and I'll be having the problem same way. And none of the doctors can say, all right, you have a pinched nerve or, you know, something like that. They can't say anything of the sort? No. The therapist will tell me that it's pinched nerves and when I do the MRI, I don't show anything that is pinched nerve or nothing like that. And I see you walking, you can hardly move about. So I know this affects you greatly in taking care of Shani. So is there any adult in the house that if you're unable to take care of her for a day, is there somebody there who can assist you in doing so? No, my daughter usually live with me, but she move out now and gone on her own. So, so it's only, just you and Shane. Just only me and Shane alone live now. I know. This, I know this is stressful. It has to be stressful. The visitations, how often does she visit the hospital? Well, from she have this illness, she spend more time in hospital more than what she spend at home. She spend, she go to school, barely go to school. If she go to school two times for the year, she got enough. She mostly spend most of her life in hospital. And how old is she right now? She's 18 years old right now. So for the past probably about 13 years she's yeah. been here? Yeah, she visits hospital more than how she spent time at school and more than how she spent time at home. So she's basically she's constantly here? You have to call it says here we live <laughs> because spend most of her life here mostly. And I know that's got to be rough because we're at Yui and they couldn't monitor at the children's hospital, like, you know, um, Bustamante for children when she was much younger? No, no, she only got, do, got there to do, like, tests and stuff like that, but otherwise, different from that is just this hospital alone, she mostly, because that's where the lungs doctor is, mostly, so she has to spend time more here. Okay, so she definitely have to be around the specialist yeah. whenever she gets ill. Yes, yeah, she have to mostly stay at this hospital. Only time she got mandible hospital is like only when she need oxygen. Like if the oxygen finish and we cannot buy it, we bring her to mandible hospital and she get oxygen until we can buy it. So would they admit her or they just supply you with oxygen and you take her home? No, they admit her and let you stay that till I buy the oxygen and then we can bring her home. All right, say how much is it to like refill? Let's say you do this twice per week. How much would you say is it to refill one of those tanks per week? Well, the big tank now is cost for it now is 6500 No, me usually pay 4009 until it raised to $5,750. And when we pull it, about two weeks ago now, when we pull it, we pay is what? 6500 and something. So roughly you're paying $13,000 per week, each week, for a tank of gas. Does that include the two portable tanks or just for the big tank? Just for the big tank alone. So how long would the portables last? Can you say you just use that for when you're going on the road? So how long would one of those portable last? The portable only lasts for a day. Just one day? Just one day. One day it lasts for. Depends on the amount of oxygen that she use. Because at home, she, and the big cylinder, she used two liters of oxygen. So it don't last for only a week. But sometimes it lasts for a week, sometimes it lasts for just only three days. Depends on the amount that she have to get. Right, so what is it you want, Pelper Time and the public right now? How would you want them to assist you right now? Well, the assistant that I need, I need some... Um, a oxygen concentrator for her like to move around with like if I'm bringing her somewhere she can wait like a knapsack and go about and stuff like that and I had the help that I need just some assistant like to help myself for me and her right when you say help yourself for you and her would you talk like somebody who can probably come in and probably spend a day or two help you when you're in need because like i said i see you're barely moving around so you'd like somebody who is willing to like come spend a day and give you some rest and something like that yeah i would gladly appreciate it like somebody to come around and help me like with her and stuff like that and like food wise because mostly my aunt helped me and sometimes she don't really have it. And I really she put out her effort at times to help me and sometimes it really pressure in. So if I could get the help, I would gladly appreciate it. And where are you living? I live in Porous, Manchester. 
That's quite a journey from Manchester to come all the way into Kingston to get treatment. Is there somebody who assists you in doing so each time you're coming here? Well, each time I'm coming here, I have to find at least $10,000 to pay a taxi man to bring me here. Somebody usually assists me to come to clinic, but that person pass off. So each time I'm coming, I have to like save up money. When I know the clinic I come up, I have to save up money and beg like help to pay the taxi man and them charge me like 10 grand. Some will charge me like $9,000. Once I have it, I will pay it, but sometimes it's really difficult for me. All right, so how long has it been since Shane has been admitted and this last time here? All right, she was admitted at Mandible Hospital for about a week. And then she transferred to come up here at UWE on Wednesday gone. Wednesday of this week? Yeah, Wednesday of this week she admitted up here. She come to clinic and they admit her up here. So normally how long would she be admitted? How long would be the stay when they admit her here? Right, whenever time she had admitted up here, she spent like six months, nine months, sometimes up to a year. She spent a year. Constantly, no yeah. break? Yeah, constantly, no break at all. They don't send her home until she is perfectly fine. And you have to visit her each day or you kind of space it being as the journey is that far because you can't stay here. So you have to be back and forth. All right. When she was on children ward, I usually stay with her here. But now she's on adult ward. No, I cannot stay with her anymore. I have to go home. Yeah, because this would probably be her first admit to the adult ward. Yes, it's her first time admitted on adult ward. Mostly on children ward she always be. But she's an adult now. She has to be on the adult ward, so I cannot stay with her. Definitely. So she's been here since Wednesday. So how much time did you visit since Wednesday? Right, since Wednesday is the first I'm coming because it's really rough for me. Because I have to get fear, big fear to play the taxi man to bring me. So I couldn't come since she admits. But the doctor called and talked to me and stuff like that and tell me how our situation has been and stuff like that. So they keep me informed so I don't worry a lot. Understand. So what I want you to do right now, you're going to put out your information to the public in case there's somebody out there when they see this and they want to give you some assistance. How can they reach you? How can they communicate with you in order to give you some help? Yeah, my, my phone number is 446-8388 and my name is Nicola Pattison. All right, what if there's like somebody in Mandeville? I'm not sure if you want to give out your address or anything, but you can like give them a location where they can meet you in case there's somebody in that vicinity who is seeing this and want to offer you some help. You know, probably that caregiver who would come and give you a day, help you out with her and stuff like that. Well, I live in Hampton Road District in Porus. Hamilton Road? Hampton Road District. Oh, that's Hampton Road in District in Porus, Manchester. What happened while Shani gets sick again to this extent? It comes from the, the road mining, what they build in the new highway, the dust. And like when they burn rubbish, everything flare it up back and cause a side effect to the lungs. So it was the smoke and the dust from the, the blasting. So have you spoke to anybody about all of these conditions? Yes, talk to the supervisor about it and I speak to the counselor the counselor know about it she talked to them and stuff like that but nothing has come up as yet they don't do anything about it so how far from the where they're building the new highway do you live a minute 10 minutes 20 minutes just five minutes walk just five minutes from where i live they are building the new highway and nobody they, did anybody like from the company take the time out to come and see how she is doing how it's affecting her or anything or have they made any changes pertaining to your complaint no nobody from there they only come they look one time they said i must take picture of it and send it to them yes i take picture of it and send it but they don't do nothing they say they don't compensate no one so did you take it up with the mp of that parish no because the MP, if you even say it to him, you don't get no response back from him. He will only read the text, read the message, and don't say anything. So with which MP is in charge of that parish? I don't remember her name, enough, but I know that the, my, my counselor name is Miss Baker. So how is the counselor been helping you? 
Well, the counselor, she helped me a lot with her because most of the time is she helped me to buy her oxygen and stuff like that. And like food wise, she would bring food and stuff for me, me and her at times, once she have it. Okay, so the counselor has been helping, but the MP, nothing at all? Yeah, the MP, I don't get no help from him, no assistant. La last time I asked him for some help, and he started to disrespect, so I don't really talk to him that much anymore. So the people of the community that you're in with all the blasting and the burning, has they, anybody else take it up with the company or was it just you alone? Nobody, they don't do anything about it because sometimes they are the ones that light in the fight, them burn rubbish. Sometimes when they burn it, they talk to them. I when I call police and police come, by the time the police them talk to them, they go start back and do the same thing over and over the same way. So it's something that they've been constantly doing, knowing that it's going to affect Shane in some way? Yes, yeah, something they're constantly doing. They're always doing it, and the health inspector come and talk to them. When the health inspector come, talk to them. As they're gone, they start by two days' time, they start it up back again. And like, if you, when I call it, sometimes when the police them come, the police them themselves. It's so disrespectful. Sometimes, some of them is okay. Some of them talk to them and assist me and tell them don't light it again. But once the police them go and them do it all over again, same way. And each time them light the fire, that's where the problem start again. Because anytime she inhale the smoke, it causes a big problem. She has to end up back in the hospital. So this has been going on for years then? Yeah, for the past, past two, three years now it's gone with the fire and stuff like that. Is it the same set of neighbors or others? The same set of neighbors, them. Same set of neighbors, them. Each and every time? All the time. That's the same person. And now you have two of them now that stop it and stuff like that. But you have a other person that both come there in burn tire, in burn rubbish. I don't know why sometimes when they burn the rubbish, I don't know what some else bad in the rubbish. Because sometimes me myself, it may cough a lot. So is it a case where uh, garbage trucks or stuff like that don't come in that community where they definitely have to burn the rubbish to get rid of it? Rubbish truck come through. Rubbish truck come through there, but sometimes, like for a month, rubbish truck don't come through. So they find the need to burn it instead of disposing of it properly? Yeah. Wow. So people... Please, the burning of the garbage in the community, not just because it affects somebody that's sick. The burning of the garbage, especially plastic and tires, it's just not healthy for the kids in the community. Right, so we the adults, we need to do something about that part there as well. All right, people, so that's what we can do for her right now. We can put the information out there to you. So if there's anybody out there who's seen this and is willing to help Nicola and Shane. You have all her information right here, so you can contact her and, you know, do the writing, people. All right, so we're out for now. Until next time. Boom! Pride for Time Production. Big up to all of my viewers all over the world. You don't know. Big up to all who lock into Pelper Time TV over the years. You don't know. Link with and you get your music video shoot, direct and edit, your wedding, your funeral, party, Stay true, photo shoot, you name it. So just check the information on the screen and lock in to Pelpa Time TV production. Big up on yourself. Pelpa TV! Pelpa Time! Pelpa Time! Room, 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 room! Pelpa Time production. Pelpa Time. Pelpa Time production. Pelpa TV. For Pelpa Time. It's a Pelpa Time, you know it's that time. Pelpa Time TV. I'm governor representing of Pelpa Time, you know. Pelpa Time, you know what you think, tough? I win a Pelpa time, I'm more like more. Can't mix up Pelpa time thing with no coffee. Give me a Pelpa time, man, I represent for you. See, we Pelpa time. Pelpa time right now. Oh, Pelpa time, I want to them. them. Pelpa time TV. Pelpa time. You're down for Pelpa time productions. Pelpa time production, it does represent for Pelpa TV. Pelpa time TV. Pelpa time. Yell them get the belt on time, you know. It's all about. Pelpa time, keep it locked. Come represent the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, Pelpa TV, our TV. It's Pelpa Time TV, cross. Pelpa Time Protection. Mm.